According to my unofficial poll in the community page, fall is overwhelmingly your favorite season to travel. And I can't blame you. There's usually great weather, less crowds, and let's admit it, the clothes are really fun too. But it can be challenging to pack for those transitional weather weekends without bringing your whole closet. So today I'm going to share with you a new more minimalist approach to packing for those fun fall weekends. Let's go. In today's video, I am challenging myself to pack light for three different fall weekend scenarios, wine tasting, tailgating, and a hiking or foliage viewing weekend. And to make the challenge even harder, I'm only allowing myself two bottoms, three tops, and two pairs of shoes for each weekend trip, plus two layering pieces like a cardigan or a jacket. And we're gonna start with one of the fun weekends. Well, I think they're all fun. <laughs> we're gonna start with the tailgating weekend. And I have to admit that my alma mater does not have a football team, but I still love being invited to other football games. There's something so, so very fall about putting together a tailgate picnic with themed cocktails and playing a little cornhole before you ever even step foot into the stadium. It's just, it's such an energetic experience, so much fun. For this example, I'm going to be spending the weekend near the school, which means packing for more than just going to the game. For my two bottoms, I'm going to pack this new pair of jeans that I just picked up at Walmart. And I have to tell you, I think that these jeans are probably gonna be my favorites of the whole year. They just fit so well. And for my second bottom, I am breaking my own rules a little bit. I guess there's really no rules, but I'm actually gonna choose a dress. And it's an old favorite dress of mine. It's this plaid J. Crew dress that I got eight to 10 years ago. And I love this thing. I wear it every fall because it's just quintessentially fall dress. I don't know if I'll be able to find something similar or not, but if I can, I will have it linked below. But as with all of my fashion videos, I really would like to encourage you to shop your closet first before going out and buying new pieces because who knows, maybe you have something like this hidden in the back of your closet too. The three tops are a basic red tank top and a white long sleeve knit shirt that really, I'm only bringing the white long sleeve shirt as a layering piece in case it gets really chilly. And then of course, you have to show some support, a college t-shirt to wear to the game. And the two layering pieces are this new cardigan that I just picked up at Walmart to replace my older cardigan because it's starting to get a little worn out looking and my favorite jean jacket that you know you guys if you know me and you've been here you know I wear all the time. Finally the two pairs of shoes are these adorable red Mary Jane shoes and these cute little black sock booty wedges and before I get into the outfits I've put together for this particular capsule let's talk about these shoes. I have been eyeing these shoes on Instagram for months when the company Vivea reached out to me to try them out and I was thrilled. So a big thank you to Vivea for sponsoring today's video. You guys here know how much I love my shoes <laughs> and how I'm trying to break myself from overpacking shoes. Well, I think Vivea shoes are going to help with that tremendously. The first and most important thing about all three pairs of these shoes I'll be showing you today is how comfortable they are from the first minute you put them on your feet. <laughs> they have thought of everything to make these your go-to travel shoes. First, they have a lovely heel padding to help prevent those travel blisters you get from, you know, walking 20 to 30,000 steps a day, getting from site to site. And second, they have a wonderful insole. And I know nobody gets excited about an insole, but I'm telling you, these insoles are worth getting excited about. They have been improved this year for even more added support and comfort. The insole is made up of three different layers with a breathable fabric on the bottom, a cushioned yoga mat midsole, and finally a padded arch support top layer that has a bonus shock absorbing heel rebound pad. I could probably do one of my hikes in these shoes, but probably my favorite thing about the shoes is that they are made from recycled water bottles. 
Each pair keeps more than six plastic water bottles out of the ocean and preventing them from becoming microplastics, which we all know are terrible for marine life and our own health. Vivea has been very generous and is offering my community 12% off of their first order when you use my code GENX at checkout. I'll have all the links below so you can try your first pair or two pair of Vivea shoes for 12% off. I am telling you, you're going to have a really hard time deciding on just one pair. Again, a big thank you to Vivea for supporting this channel. Now, let's get back to packing for that fun tailgate weekend. I'll start off with my travel day outfit, which is probably the same outfit I'm going to end up wearing out to dinner that night too. In this outfit, I'm kind of incorporating a little bit of that fall trend of the denim on denim, or what some people lovingly call the Canadian tuxedo. <laughs> oh, and this isn't strictly a Canadian tuxedo because I am breaking it up with a red tank top. So I have my jeans on, the red tank top, the jean jacket, but I've also threw on the scarf so that I could kind of break up the, the color blocking with the denim and the red. And of course, I'm wearing these adorable red Mary Jane shoes, which are, I really, I'm probably gonna say it 20 times in this video, are so, so comfortable. So that is my travel day outfit. For the tailgate football game, of course, we have to show some team support. So I'm going to wear the jeans again, and then I'm going to wear that team shirt. Or if you have a sweatshirt, you throw on a sweatshirt. Depending on the weather, I'll probably wear a baseball hat to help with some protection and more team spirit. <laughs> all things North Carolina. I do like making the outfit just a little bit more classy with the red Mary Janes instead of sneakers. And these, these Mary Jane shoes come in a variety of colors. So you should be able to find a pair that matches your team colors too. For dinner after the game, if it's an earlier game, I'll wear the plaid dress with the jean jacket and I'm gonna wear these little black booties. If it's a little chilly outside, I'll bring a pair of tights that I can throw on with this outfit which would be really, really cute. And I'm putting on a pair of dressier earrings to kind of level up the outfit as well. For the drive back home, I'm just going to put the dress on again, but I am going to wear it with the adorable little Mary James and the cardigan. Now, if it's not cold enough for needing the cardigan to wear over my shoulders, I like to tie it around my waist, especially in the fall, because I feel like it gives a nice uh, breakup to the straightness of the dress. So I can and wrap that cardigan around my waist and it kind of acts like a it gives me a little bit more of a figure because I am pretty rectangular shaped. This outfit is nice enough that if you want to stop for brunch or go do something else on your way home then you're still in a very lovely outfit instead of just kind of wearing sweats. <laughs> By the way as always I will have the links for everything that I can find links to in the description below including that description discount code for the Vivea shoes. I'll also put all of these links in the first pinned comment so that they will be easier for you to find. If you follow me over on Instagram, you know I love to hike and fall is one of the best hiking seasons. But even if you're not into hitting the trails like I do, Fall is amazing time to drive those beautiful scenic routes and take in the colorful foliage. Obviously, if you're not hiking, your packing list is probably going to be just a little bit different than mine, but this at least will get you started. The two bottoms are going to be a pair of leggings and a pair of jeans. Then my three shirts are going to be a graphic tee, a lightweight transitional sweater, and a black three-quarter length sleeve shirt with a little v-neck. And the two shoes, of course, my hiking boots and those cute little black booties. I'll also bring my cargo jacket and my little packable puffy jacket as my layering pieces. But y'all, this, this puffy jacket is, it's seen better days. It's something I've had for probably 10 or 12 years. Like it's, it's old. It's starting to show it's, the feathers are coming out of it in the closet. So I think that is something that is going on my list for this year is a truly packable, puffy coat that I can, you know, pack down into a little packet. So if any of you guys have a packable puffy jacket that you've been using and you are super happy with, let me know in the comments below because it's something that I, I do need to probably purchase in the next couple of months. For our travel day, and I have to drive about 
six hours to do any mountain hiking these days from my home. I want something super comfortable, so I'm gonna wear my leggings and the black shirt, the cargo jacket, and the cute little black booties. Then I'm comfortable, but also nice enough for going out to dinner that night. For the hiking day, I'm going to be wearing the leggings, of course, with my hiking graphic tee, the little puffy jacket, because it'll probably be chilly when we're starting, and you know, a hat of some sort. Of course, I'll be wearing my hiking shoes. Throughout the day, I'll probably trade out, I'll probably take the jacket off and I'll probably trade out my knit hat for a baseball hat because the fall we know, in, especially in the mountains, the weather can start off really chilly and then be super warm by the middle of the day, especially if you're out hiking. Now, the night after the hike, I really like to treat myself to a nice dinner. You know, I feel like I've deserved it after I've hiked all day. So I'm gonna change into the jeans and those cute little booties. And then I have this lovely lightweight sweater that's a, a very loose knit or a good, like sheer knit, I guess. And it's a sweater that you can wear either with the V in the front or you can wear it with the V in the back. It's actually, the label in it is that you're supposed to wear the V in the back, but I, I actually prefer wearing it with the V in the front, but you can do it either way. Again, this is something that I got at a boutique here in town, so I will look and see if I can find something similar to it to link below. This is just a nice casual, but a little bit dressy outfit. So if I decide I wanna go out for a nice steak dinner after I've hiked 10 miles, then I feel like I have something appropriate to wear. Then for the drive home, I'm gonna be back in those jeans, the black shirt I wore on the drive up, the cargo jacket and the booties. Again, something that if I wanna stop for brunch or somewhere along the way on the drive home, then I feel like I look not schleppy. <laughs> For our third fun fall getaway, who doesn't love a fabulous wine tasting weekend? It's one of the biggest things I miss about living in Oregon. Fall was all about the wine. For this little weekend getaway, my two bottoms are going to be this super comfy pair of cargo pants and this fun black tulle skirt. And then the three shirts are this graphic tee that I picked up in Korea, an olive green tank top, and this three quarter length sleeve V-neck shirt that I've had for so many years. My two shoes are going to be these lovely leopard loafers that I got from Vivea and the cute little sock booties that I've been wearing before. The Larry pieces are going to be the jean jacket and this super cozy, chunky cardigan that I picked up at Target last year. The travel day outfit for this weekend is going to be this pair of super comfy cargo pants I got at Walmart back in the spring. And I have worn these things so much. I wore them a ton in the spring. I've already been wearing them this fall. They are, they're great transitional weather pants because they're not too heavy and they're great travel pants because they have a little bit of stretch in them. <laughs> this graphic tee that I got in Korea, I am going to be wearing the tee and the pants with the leopard loper, leopard loafers, <laughs> Le leopard loafers. Oh my gosh, that is really hard to say. And if necessary, I'll be throwing on the jean jacket with this too. I've also kind of like styled it with this bucket hat that I picked up in Korea, which I'm going to warn you guys, I picked up five bucket hats in Korea, so you're probably going to see a few more bucket hats in upcoming videos. They're just, they're so cute, and they're great for those days that maybe you want to hide your hair under something. <laughs> for Friday dinner, if we're going out somewhere nice, I'll probably change into the skirt and the boots, but I'll leave on the graphic tee, and the jean jacket will kind of help dress that up a little bit too. Now for the Saturday wine tasting day, I am going to wear the skirt. This skirt is something that I picked up at Christmas time from Ross for like, I don't know, $10. And I thought it was super cute and I never got an opportunity to wear it during the holidays. But when I was in Korea and Japan, I saw so many women wearing the tulle skirts very casually. Like they would, you know, wear it with, like I had the outfit on earlier with a graphic tee and tennis shoes and, you know, dressed up as well. So I am looking forward to pulling this skirt out of my closet and coming up with more creative ways to wear it. For the wine tasting day, I'm going to wear it with the three quarter sleeve V-neck shirt 
with the skirt and then the black booties and bear with me i realize this is looking like a halloween outfit so far <laughs> but i am going to add a scarf to kind of break up the black and some fun earrings now if it's really chilly you might want to throw on the chunky sweater on with it or you could go back and wear the denim jacket either of those options look really good with this all black outfit and it looks like this year Black is the new black again. For our Sunday travel day going back home, I'll just put on those comfy cargo pants and the olive green tank top. And that is another trend that I've seen is the whole monochromatic or similar looking colors put together, which I do like that because it's it's a very slimming look and it's usually pretty easy to pull off. So I'm wearing the olive green tank top with the cargo pants and the cargo pants again, another trend. Somehow I'm being trendy and I'm really not that much of a trendy person. Very comfy and nice enough for anywhere that we might stop on the way home because I am a huge fan of going somewhere nice to get a big brunch on the way home from wine tasting. Are you heading off for a fun fall weekend getaway? Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite place to go or activity to do in the fall. Wherever you are off to, I hope that this little lookbook might have given some inspiration on how to pack a little bit lighter but still look stylish and comfortable. If you're looking for some ideas on how to pack for a longer fall vacation, you should check this video out next.